Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome to this, the latest edition of Wise Conservatism's Video Side Chat for this June the 6th, 2009. America has led itself into a crossroads where if we don't straighten up and try and figure out what the heck is going on here, we're going to lose everything this country has stood for since the beginning. In this last election, we elected a man who has proven himself over and over again to be socialistic and has socialistic ideas for what he wants to do to this nation, and yet we elected him. He takes this election as a mandate from the people to do what he wants to do. And what he wants to do, people, is take away every freedom that we have because a freedom that, a, that an American citizen has is a freedom he doesn't want us to have. He wants to take away our money because the money that we have, we shouldn't have. Because in his words, he wants to redistribute the wealth to the people who deserve it, not to the people who have it. Now, the idea of this is sickening, to say the least. He wants to give your wealth, which you worked your, with your hard sweat, blood, and tears for. He wants to give this wealth to people who do not want to work for it. He thinks that giving your wealth to them will give him a base that he can stand on for the future and do the things that he wishes to do. Obama is a socialist. Obama is a communist. There is really no other way to put it. He wants to tax us into oblivion, which essentially he's already started doing by forcing through his tax stimulus plan, which 80% of the people in the United States were against from the get-go, yet he pushed it through anyway. It had to be done. According to him, it had to be done because if it wasn't, it would be a disaster for this nation, and it had to be done. It's the exact same thing that they've said about every bailout that they've done since the first one when Bush was a president, and I was against that one, too. These people in our government keep pushing forth these ideas that we are in a crisis, and a crisis has to be met with money, or else it will become a bigger crisis. The problem is it's exactly the opposite of that. If it's met with money, it's going to become a bigger crisis because now we're spending money that does not exist as of yet. Today, being June the 6th, is the 65th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. And if you younger people don't know anything about the D-Day invasion because the schools are not teaching you, go out to your library and find books on it and read on it. You will be amazed at the sacrifices that these men from all over the country, all over the country and all over the world in an allied attempt to stop Nazism from growing any more than it already had and to stop the occupation of Europe from Germany and Nazi Germany and Hitler. You will be amazed at the sacrifices that these men put forth to stop this trend. We have now a president who yesterday or the day before now went over there and trash Germany for what they did 65 years ago, the day after he praised Islam as being the best religion in the world, not bringing up the point that Islam is the one that beheaded Chris Berg, 
and other Americans who did not believe their way of doing things. And in that one, Islam is a religion of peace if you believe in their way. If you don't, you become an infidel and only worth killing to them. Infidel is a badge that I wear proudly. They can come. I will not change my beliefs. I will not change my God. And I haven't with Obama either. Barack Obama has been running around since the beginning making himself out to be the Messiah. And right now I am wearing a t-shirt that has two messages on it. The front is a soldier kneeling down holding an American flag looking like he's praying in front of the wall with the many names on it for the soldiers who have sacrificed throughout our history. The names on this wall are from World War II and probably Korea and, and Vietnam. Underneath the picture is the caption, We Will Never Forget. And in that one, the American people are not forgetting, but our government has. And Obama is pushing those ideals right at us, shoving them right down our throats. And no one is doing a darn thing about it. The back of my shirt has another message on it. It has a picture of Jesus Christ. And beside it, it says, My Messiah is Jesus Christ, not Obama. And on that one, I stand. Obama, you are nothing more than a pretentious puppet for the liberal machine in Washington, D.C. And you are their leader right now, and they are ecstatic about it. The government-run press is ecstatic about everything that you're doing because they know that you are in the process of destroying this country. The only way this can be stopped, my friends, is in 2010, is if the Republicans, the conservative Republicans, get together and vote these liberals out of office so that the Congress and the Senate become something that we can fight the president with and make him a lame duck president. Otherwise, this nation is doomed. Mark my words here, people. We have got problems heading our way, and if we don't do something about it soon, it will be too late. This is Robert Garding, the Infidel Talkmaster, for this edition of Wise Conservatism's Video Side Chat this June the 6th, D-Day anniversary of 2009. God bless America, God bless our troops always, and God bless you, my viewers. Have a good and beautiful day.